application of neuromodulators or muscle relaxers are very common and well-established method to eliminate small lines and uh, wrinkles on the face. A wrinkle on the face is created by the underlying muscle that contracts and basically creates a line on the skin which is perpendicular to the muscle that's contracting. So the way to eliminate that wrinkle is to paralyze the muscle to, sm to smooth out the surface on top of the muscle. What's used for that purpose would be a neuromodulator or neurotoxin, which is a type of botulinum toxin. Uh, we, right now, there are several botulinum toxins on the market, which acts in a very similar fashion. You're very familiar with Botox, there's also Dysport, and now there's new Juvo or Nutox. Our office offers all of these um, neuromodulators, and depending on the patient's preference, they're administered to a certain sites. The sites that are frequently treated with uh, neuromodulators uh, would be the forehead for transverse rightids or transverse lines, uh, the area between the eyes, which would be the glabellar area, and also the area uh, on the side of the eyes, which is the area of crow's feet. There are different uh, areas that could be treated with neuromodulators, such as the uh, smoker lines uh, or uh, excessive pitting of, of the chin. Um, how does a neuromodulator work? Well, uh, it is a toxin. So, so although it sounds scary, there's a minuscule amount of it that we administer every time, which is not toxic for, for you as, as a whole person. It's this minimal amount, however, is enough to uh, immobilize the muscle that it's intended to immobilize. So it basically, uh, the neuromodulator blocks a, a receptor that receives um, a signal from the nerve to contract the muscle. The onset of action uh, of a neuromodulator can take anywhere from one to, to four days, and, uh, but the peak of its uh, efficacy occurs about, at about eight days. What are the side effects? The side effects of neuromodulator use are few. The most common side effects are bruising and uh, poke marks from the injections, which are very short-lived, and they will be gone in probably 48 hours. Another uh, potential complication is uh, eyelid drooping, which happens very, very rarely. In my uh, experience of over 12 years, I have seen one of these patients, and uh, we administer uh, neuromodulators quite frequently. So it is not, uh, not a very frequent uh, complication. How to avoid complications? Well, proper administration is key, but also after the administration, you should not really um, touch the area where the uh, neuromodulator was administered because it can shift the fluid to another site and, which, and cause the effect that's not desired, such as an eyelid droop. Even if it happens, there are things that can be done to uh, help with faster recovery. Nonetheless, even if you don't like the effect of neuromodulator, it will go away in about three months. But in, in summary, neuromodulators or neurotoxins for aesthetic application are very effective ways to uh, treat uh, signs of aging and also prevent early signs of aging. If we uh, start early, um, the wrinkles will not develop to the degree they would have if we didn't use neuromodulators.